during the pandemic when it started, uh, we did have a slight pause in our practice just because of figure out what to do. Once we were able to um, navigate through doing video visits or telephone visits, it was very, very easily easy to uh, sort of incorporate that, incorporate that into our practice, into our workflow. It's been very, very useful for my practice. A lot of my patients uh, have cancer. The majority of the time that I spend with them uh, is in talking. So doing that over a video was very easy and it was actually pretty comfortable for our patients and, and uh, for them so they didn't have to drive here. It was easy for me to do the video visit. Uh, it was very helpful. I could actually share the images or any data uh, that I reviewed uh, with the patient through the app as well, through the um, yeah through the app as well, so that made it really nice, um, and I think patients were very satisfied with that. I found it to be very helpful with the issues particular to the coronavirus pandemic, but also I see it as a a very helpful future tool uh, for us to use uh, going forward with our practice, even uh, when things hopefully uh, return to normal. When I think of the word hope, I think of the word optimism. And I'm always trying to be optimistic, even if it's a dark situation or a dark time. And certainly this, I think, would qualify as a time when people were down, people were bummed out. There was a lot of uncertainty. Hope to me is being optimistic, saying, I know I can get through this. I know it'll be a better day. I'm not gonna let something or whatever particular thing is going on that is going to uh, defeat me.